it's time to take our priming on the Apex 10 to the next level. And for that, we're gonna show you Primer Express. Gavin Gear and Kyle Shields here from UltimateReloader.com. We've been working through a whole content series with the Apex 10. This has been a little crazy. We've mm -hmm. <laughs> processed over 41,000 cases. I should say you've processed over 41,223 cases. We just completed the upgrades that pretty much bring this up to spec. The new machines now ship with a billet aluminum tool head, yep. a second gen priming system, and they're also available with a bundle that includes the auto drive, which I would suggest. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> auto drive is a magic. And uh, to complement the Gen 2 priming system upgrade that we just did, we thought, you know, we're just about to you know, prime a whole bunch of these cases for this 223 bulk loading project. Like we mentioned in the last video, a lot of people with medium level ammunition uh, manufacturing capabilities will do case processing, then they'll do priming, and then they'll do the rest of the loading, which is charging the cases, seating the bullets, and, and that kind of thing. Crimping possibly too, depending mm -hmm. on the caliber and, and the use case. So, you know, what we wanna do is, now that we got the priming all working great, we're gonna prime out a bunch of these 223 cases, take a look at Primer Express. Now, Primer Express is basically an add-on for the Evolution or the Apex 10, correct? That's correct. It's so you don't have to fill the primer tube manually. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna add the primers for you. So as you saw in the last video, we went through these pretty quick and it was mm -hmm. about full, close to 100, nice. minus maybe five or 10 or so from some testing. Yep. But when you crank this thing up, you're gonna be watching this this follower, <laughs> this leader fall real quick. So yeah, we are at 2,500 per hour, I think, when in the last video yep. when we were doing the demo. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and, and what's really cool about this is that we can, it'll hold 300 primers, and we can add them while the machine is loading. That's right. Or priming, we're gonna do dedicated priming here. So should yep. we get this out of the box? We shall. Do you mind if I cut the tape? No, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got in here. Uh-oh, I slightly cut our instruction manual. <laughs> That's okay. We've got a video to follow along if you'd uh, prefer that yeah, as well. I've already watched it. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> Use your, you know. You, you can get a, a, nice a print way. version or a PDF version as well online. Yep. So hey, it's all good, it's all good. Show you kind of how this is packaged. This is kind of an interesting packaging strategy here where you've got these precise cutouts everything's kind of dropped into position and kind of floating at at the same level more yeah. or less. So this is gonna come out as Nerd out of CO2 unit. laser stuff in me is, yeah, is enjoying yeah. that. I know, we do, we, do, we do some cardboard stuff here, especially when we're testing our, our foam cuts and yeah. that, that sort of thing. I'm guessing this just, yeah, there rolls you go. more or less. That is very interesting. Never gets old there we in go. boxing, does it? No. Make sure nothing else is gonna fly out Cables. here. Cables. Cable, oh yeah, uh, sensor cable. Nice. There's a bracket. Yep, that's a blast shield. Oh, nice. So get that out of the wrapping. Pull that out the top gently. Easy as she goes yeah, there. Most important part. There's the main unit. And then this box, take that out the bottom, why not? Okay, so Kyle and I are gonna get the rest of this stuff out of the packaging and we'll go over what's included. This just in guys, now through October 31st, 2024, Mark 7 is running some awesome promos. Promo number one, buy a manually driven press, the hand crank type, get a free pro die set up to a $400 value. Buy an auto drive, get a sensor of your choice, that's about a $350 value. And then if you buy an auto driven bundle, you get two sensors for free, which is up to $700 bonus. So. Go over to Mark 7 Reloading now to take advantage of this deal. Okay, so now that Kyle and I kind of embraced our inner OCD, we've got everything laid out <laughs> completely uh, tidy here. We've got the control box, mm -hmm. right? The blast shield, mounting hardware, cables. We've got the main unit, of course. It's really cool looking. Um, yeah, it is. Or is this the, actual, that's the, the cover? That, that's the cover slash okay. sensor. Gotcha, right so it's gonna see them as they fly by. The, uh, the wall wart. And then we've got primer uh, shuttle top plate parts, it looks like here, yep. and other mounting hardware. And then the owner's manual, which like I said, I, I kind of cut uh -oh. the first page of. <laughs> Sorry about okay. that. That's all right, I can work <laughs> around that. Okay, so um, I think I'm gonna have you, if you're willing, uh, oh, yeah. get this baby going and installed, and then we can kind of recap that process, and uh, then we'll be doing some bulk priming. That'll be fun. Sounds good. Awesome.
So looks like you got everything installed. Sure did. Yeah, so what I did first was remove our old priming system, the mm -hmm. primer tube. So there's a plate here that is covering it up. It's also your primer like tube stop. So if you want to disable your priming mm -hmm. feed, um, it kind of acts as both. So I just removed that cover before installing the Primer Express. So when you get the Primer Express, it includes some new things that for the Gen 2 priming system, and that will be a bracket and a plastic piece on the other side that acts as a mm -hmm. spacer and a prevents the primers from flipping, and then a, another metal spacer for your blast shield here. Mm -hmm. So what I did first was install that bracket that will hold the Primer Express unit, mm -hmm. installed that onto the Gen 2 system, then I installed the Primer Express itself. So I held a little bit of upper pressure while screwing in these three screws here. First mm -hmm. I installed the bracket, got it adjusted front and back as needed to, to fit right, and then tightened down the two main screws here. Yeah. And just made sure everything was sitting level and flush. And then uh, another thing you want to check is the operation of your primer disc to make sure there's no resistance or scraping or anything. That means you might need to readjust your screws gotcha. if so. Um, then I installed the eccentric, but this is it's this little metal circular piece here hmm. that will hold down your sensor unit. Gotcha. Uh, so I installed that. And then I also, while I was at it, checked the operation of everything and adjusted the primer sensor depth so for the primer orientation. So in other words, if a primer is upside down or yep. you know the metal cup is up, it will flash a little red light here and stop. Oh, nice. If, if it's upside down. So it kind of acts as a primer orient sensor before yep. it even primes, which is really cool. Correct the problem before you get into primed cases with upside down primers. And Ex exactly. So and so and yeah. you still could use the primer O, the primer, primer orient sensor on the other side mm -hmm. on the Gen 2 if you wanted to as well, which might not be a bad idea. In this yep. case, we still have it off, but you could add that if you wanted. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, then I checked the, the function of everything. I wanted to get the speed dialed in on the control box. Um, I had to adjust the press level as well to cant our press over downward mm -hmm. a little bit because mm -hmm. I noticed primers were tending to hang out at the top here. So once I adjusted it off level, everything was starting to flow and slide really Kind of nicely. more even distribution. E exactly. Following the pathway as yeah. it were. Yeah, because no matter which speed I, I set, it was all still hanging out here. But mm -hmm. once I intentionally canted it, it mm -hmm. worked really well. And, and Lyman recommends doing that. It's in the manual if you're having gotcha. issues with your particular primers not sliding forward. So just keep that in mind. Then, um, yeah, plugged in the unit to the control box here. So the cable that's included goes to your port number one, which is in our case, our prime and swage port. Installed the sensor, dialed in the speed, got it about halfway, loaded primers, tested the operation and everything seems to be working pretty well so far. So I've run about 200 primers or so, 200 mm -hmm. cases through so far. So, nice. Yeah. And if you buy the unit, you get an instruction manual and Mark 7 has a video that kind of outlined the whole process. Correct, yep, right. they have videos for the Gen 2 and they have also have videos or had videos for the Gen 1 if you still have that as well. So nice. Works on both. Getting your, your Primer Express set up and installed and dialed in. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, good work on getting stuff going. Why don't we next do a priming demo? Let's get this fired up. Let's do it. We're gonna start at 1500 rounds per minute. Mm -hmm. We've already preloaded primers. Uh, one thing to note is you can load primers while it's oscillating or not. Mm -hmm. This whole top hopper here stays completely stationary. Gotcha. So what we probably ought to do is just go ahead and load some more while we're at it. go. So the neat thing is, there we go, uh -huh. is you don't have to fill any more primer tubes and it automatically will orient the primers. And some has already flipped themselves anvils up yeah. already right here. I so, can see that. Yeah, they've, uh, they said they did a lot of research to get everything oriented correctly on mm -hmm. this unit. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's a really so, cool concept and just solves the worst thing about reloading, when you get to this level of setup. Oh um, yeah, priming is always <laughs> tricky. So, should we go up to 2000, see what happens? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So we still, just like last time in our Gen 2 video, we don't mm -hmm. have any bottom dwell or anything like that. Our mm -hmm. settings are pretty much exactly the same. The only addition I did was update our firmware for when we do our pistol processing in the future. Just wanted to make sure we're all ready to go there. Nice. It is recommended that you update your firmware before installing the unit, ideally, which is easy to do. They have yep. a, it's on the Mark 7 website. They have videos and instructional videos for that as well. <laughs> so Man, cool. Isn't that cool? 
Yeah. Looks like it's already time to add some more primers. So I say let's yes. let it run for a while. Let's do it today. Yeah, they, they made some serious improvements here. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it is a really impressive unit when you, mm -hmm. uh, once you get it all set up, and then the install really isn't hard. It's, it's really straightforward, especially if you can, if you own one of these presses, you probably can install it, no problem. Mm -hmm. You're probably pretty mechanically apt. And, Yeah, the case feet's keep, keeping up too. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right. Very nice, yeah, we had our, our case feeder was keeping up nicely. Yep. Multiple boxes of primers going in with no no stabbing. I mean, I, I will not miss that at all. You know, <laughs> no. when you get to this level of reloading. <laughs> no, it's nice just to be able to pour them in and watch it go. And that's really the only maintenance you have to do is keeping your primers filled and keeping your case speed bowl filled as well. So yeah, that's your only operation. It's really, really nice. Excellent work. And Thank just you. to remind everybody, you know, we did 40,000 cases plus through this. You're going to want to check out those videos. Uh, Kyle just did all of the work upgrading this to the latest and greatest priming system, latest tool head. This video covers Primer Express. Our next video, I'm excited for this one, is gonna be taking these primed cases, we're gonna charge it, we're gonna seed a bullet and crimp, and that's gonna be a real you know, production context reloading process in three different parts. So this has been a lot of fun. It has been. Looking forward to the next video. Our question for you is, what do you think of this setup? What do you think of Primer Express? Is this something you'd add to your Apex 10? We'd love to hear your feedback and hear what you're doing with bulk reloading. This is really cool stuff and it's really an excellent opportunity to enhance your shooting game and also definitely to make some money. Thanks yeah. again, Kyle, for Appreciate your hard it. work on this. Yep. Thank you. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. Thanks again for watching.